Hello viewers and welcome to another installment of the Lord of the Rings The Card Game Progression Series. My name is Mitch. And I'm Matthew. And today we're going to be playing through the Hills of Emon Wheel. So, Matthew, we've made it to the fourth scenario of the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. And uh, what's happening now in our story? So, after traveling through the Anduin Valley and healing our eagle friend, Williador, we are now pursuing Gollum to the south. And the heroes have been led to the Hills of Emin Wheel, but there our lead grows cold. So somewhere in this region, Gollum is hiding, and it's up to our heroes to explore carefully to regain the trail and resume pursuit. So, in other words, Matthew and I are going to be presented with a large variety of different locations, and we're going to have to explore our way through enough of them until eventually we're able to rediscover the trail of uh, the elusive Golem. In taking a look at our player decks, today we're going to be uh, running something a little bit out of the ordinary. Note that my starting threat is a mere 26, Matthew's is all the way down at 24, uh, and I'm not running a deck that's really got any combat capability at all. I've got a ton of questing-focused allies like Aomond, Escort from Aedaros, some uh, high willpower value characters, low in quantity like Gildor and Haldir, and uh, of course, Northern Tracker, Rivendell Minstrel, and uh, some of our new allies here in the Rittermark's Finest to hopefully deal with some of the uh, particularly nasty locations that Matthew and I are going to be facing. Once again, I'm bringing Barivor for her superb card draw Eleanor for treachery cancellation, because the Hills of Emon Muil has one of the nastiest treacheries to date as well, and then uh, Eowyn for a huge willpower value, and then a uh, kind of my standard assortment of uh, spirit and lore events. But, Matthew, how about yourself? What are you bringing to the table today? I am running a Trisphere deck with Frodo, Thalon, and Theodrid. Uh, the thought here is Thalon will help us deal with those nasty eastern crows that surge, and he'll take care of them before that happens. Uh, Frodo's there to quest, but also to be a defender in a pinch, and Theodrid can sort of spread some res uh, resources around when he's questing, depending on which sphere happens to need it the most. Um, I've got Faramir to boost up some willpower, also have Northern Trackers to help make short work of these locations, hopefully. And like you, Mitch, I've got just a host of allies that will hopefully help us quest pretty successfully so we can regain the Trail of Gollum. Yeah, so this quest is pretty straightforward. There's a whole hell of a lot of questing and locations to be explored. There aren't a lot of treachery cards to deal with, but Matthew and I both have a test of will to deal with that. And uh, there's an enemy here and there, but Matthew and I have low enough starting threat that we're hopefully going to be able to just focus on questing and getting out one or more copies of Northern Tracker between the two of us as quickly as we can. So without further ado, before we talk about today's scenario, why don't we go ahead and make sure that our decks are shuffled and draw our opening assortment of six cards. And it looks like my starting hand is all right. I suppose, uh, what are your thoughts, Matthew? Mine is okay. I like having test of will i've got two snowborns i still think i'm going to mulligan though i don't really have any of my, the power cards i would like to see like either faramir steward or northern tracker so i'm going to take my mulligan yeah and i i think i'm going to do the same i do have a test of will which is great but we've got eleanor for a reason and really the quicker one of us can get out northern tracker uh the better and in fact that might kind of be the key to winning the scenario uh my mulligan looks superb rittermark's finest two copies of test of will and uh wouldn't you know it northern tracker and our new gildor in glorian wow uh i'm taking a look at your hand i'm liking what i'm seeing but what are your thoughts uh, it's okay. I mean, I, I at least got Faramir and the Steward, so uh, the rest of the cards are sort of meh to me, but um, hey, we'll see what happens. 
Yeah, so it seems like a reasonable enough start, but let's go ahead and take a look at today's scenario. This is the Hills of Emon Wheel. We've got one quest card. This is the only quest we've got at this point that is just one quest card. Quest Phase 1A reads, The hunt for Gollum has led you to the south, and you are now approaching Rauros Falls and the nearby Hills of Emon Wheel. As set up, Matthew and I are going to search the encounter deck for Emon Hen and Amon Law and add them to the staging area, then shuffle the encounter deck. So each of these locations is going to have a threat value equal to double the number of players in the game. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment, add some threat tokens to these locations to prompt uh, Matthew and I that they're both sitting at a massive four threat. They each have victory points associated with them. Each of them is worth five. We're going to need Need to acquire a grand total of 20 before we're going to be able to beat uh, the scenario today. So all the M and Wheel trait locations have victory point values associated with them, and the uh, encounter deck is home to such fan favorites like Chieftain Uftok, whom have uh, victory points attached to them as well. Amon Hin has five quest points, so does Amon Law, and each of these has a nasty drawback to it. So while Amon Hin is active, we cannot play events, uh, like a test of will to cancel treacheries, and while Amon Law is the active location, we treat all attachments as if their printed text boxes were blank, which includes powerful cards like Steward of Gondor. But that is our quest card. Let's go ahead and flip to quest phase 1B. It's just one quest point. You are certain that Gollum has fled into this area, and you must explore until you find the fresh trail. So, short and sweet, forced. If there are no location cards in the staging area, the first treachery card revealed during the quest phase gains surge. We cannot defeat this stage unless there are no Emon wheels trait locations in play, and Matthew and I have collected at least 20 victory points. And that is today's quest. So, okay. Matthew, your first player, let's yep. go ahead and do our resource phase. So, one resource for each character, and we draw one card. I got my other unique lore ally. Okay. What are you doing for planning? I am not doing anything. All right, so for me, I've got enough spirit resources that I could get out a copy of, like, the Rittermark's Finest, but then I'm going to be compromised when it comes to uh, canceling treachery cards. That is a really tricky decision. I could either save up so that, well, okay, so next turn... If you were to do Steward of Gondor on me, I could hit four and do a Northern Tracker. So why don't I go ahead and do a Rittermark's Finest now, just in case we reveal some some nasty uh, location that I can snipe away. Okay. Uh, this location, or this quest, is probably going to be the most difficult right now, this first round. Uh, so the easier we can deal with it, the better. Uh, but that's it for me. So... For questing, who do you want to send? I am going to send the team, and I'm going to put Theoded Resource on himself because I've got a handful of leadership. Fantastic. Uh, so for me, I'm definitely going to send Eowyn. You and I each have our power cards. I think at this point I also... Well, let's see. We're up against a total of eight. You've sent four. I've sent four. I think I want to send Barivor just to make sure we don't gain any threat. Okay. Uh, and I think I will call it good at that. Okay. So I've sent six, you've sent four, and uh, let's see what we pull. So encounter card number one is going to be a copy of Evil Storm. Our Man. goal here today is to design decks that make as many encounter cards with as possible, and if the encounter deck participates, uh, that's even better. So neither of us have 35 threat. Uh, yeah. That whiffs. Yeah. Encounter card number two is going to be a copy of the Necromancer's Reach. Oh my. And uh, I'm thinking I'm okay with this resolving just because nobody's going to be in danger of dying. And uh, I'll have plenty of cancellation for down the road. I guess I could cancel it with Eleanor, but then we risk 
pulling out yeah. another high threat location. Sure. Okay. We can so, let it resolve. Sure. So point of damage to Barovor, point of damage to Eowyn. And uh, do you want Frodo to take that as damage or threat? You know, I thought about it. Um, any other point after this will just become threat. So sure. I'm just going to I think I'll do damage just for this one. Obviously, can't do any more. And everything else he takes will be threat. All right. So that is two treachery cards. Uh, there were locations in the staging area, so neither of those treacheries gains surge. We're up against uh, eight threat, but we've sent uh, 10 willpower to the quest. That means we're going to make two quest progress, but we need victory points before we're going to be able to win. Uh, Amon Law and Amon Hen. I'm thinking at this point, uh, do we want to... Well, let's see here. Players cannot play events while Amon Hen is active. That one to me is a little bit frightening. Yeah. Uh, Amon Law would prevent either of us from benefiting from Steward of Gondor. I mean, if we want to travel to one, I would say Amon Hen, because if we have to cancel something, there's always... Eleanor. Yeah. Yeah cannot play events as opposed to cannot cancel when revealed yeah so uh let's do aim on hen and hopefully we'll be able to uh buff up aowen enough to clear it out in one fell swoop yep. and uh things will end up working out all right so shall we refresh let's do it all right refresh i am first player we'll go ahead and do our resources and uh for planning let's see i've got a lore resource so why don't I spend one lore resource on Hinamarth River Song to get his willpower out and uh, functioning? And let's see. I guess I actually planned maybe a little bit poorly since I'm first player. Even if you were to put Steward of Gondor on me, I couldn't trigger it to do Northern Tracker yet. Right. Uh, so why don't I just call it good as is? And I think okay. Stuart is maybe better served on uh, Barivor anyway. Uh, but what do you want to do? Um, well, I'll go ahead and play the steward. Uh, you can choose whoever you like. Why, thank you so much. I think I'll pick Barivor. Okay. And then... Um, let's get Radagast out just for fun. Sure. I guess uh, may as well. That's a hell of a lot of willpower, yeah. and that is what we need. I'll uh, use yeah. my steward now, I think, because there's really no reason not to. Sure. Uh, and I guess along those same lines, if I'd have made myself the first player on the first turn, I could have done Haldir instead of Hinamarth here. Uh, but, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty and you and I don't exactly do test runs and anyways <laughs> so uh for committing characters to the quest I definitely want to get rid of Amon Hen so I think I'm gonna send a uh grand total of seven okay and what are you sending uh six okay six and you've had Theodred toss his resource to him yep all right, so let's see what we reveal. Encounter card number one is going to be a copy of Necromancer's Pass. Okay. Three threat, two quest points. Huh. I uh, I wish I had a card that could eliminate a two quest point location. <laughs> Encounter card number two is going to be a copy of the Highlands. Mm. So in order to travel to this one threat, one victory point location, we have to reveal the top card of the encounter deck and add it to the staging area. Uh, no, thank you. Yep. Uh, but prior to quest resolution, I'm going to go ahead and exhaust and discard the Rittermark's Finest to put uh, two progress on... Well, actually, why don't I do a little bit of math first? So okay. we've sent 13 to the quest. We're up against four, five, six, seven, eight threat. That means we're going to make five progress. Uh, so why don't I save my ally and we'll okay. just do five on Amon Hen. Okay. I'll control V to add that to the victory display. And uh, I may as well just let Necromancer's Pass get eradicated by Northern Tracker. Okay. Uh, so for travel, uh, we could go to Amon Law. And all that that would mean 
is that I would not be able to do Gildor next turn, but I could do Haldir and okay. a Northern Tracker. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, might as well. So let's make that active. Our other locations are just going to be sitting there. I guess Control R? Sure. All right, so Control R, once again, you're going to be the first player. Let's go ahead and draw our one card, add our resources. So Amon Law is treating all attachments as if their printed text boxes were blank. Your first player, what uh, is up for planning? I am not going to play anything. All right. I would love to get some card draw from Ancient Mathem. I mean, I guess, would you have the capability to cancel a treachery should one come up? I will not. Well, okay. Well, you know what I could do? I mean, I can just throw Theodred's yeah. resource over to Frodo. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead so I can get a little bit more variety in my hand and play Ancient Mathem on our location here. And that's going to be it for me. Okay. And uh, I could, let's see, I guess I could maybe use Barivor on you. Let me think. Eowyn is for Eleanor, I guess I could send, but let's just say four, five, and Northern Tracker would make it six sent to the quest. Haldir could make it uh, seven, but I could also do a minstrel. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three off of Barivor for a copy of Rivendell Minstrel. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trigger its response to look through my deck for a song of travel. Nice. I'll close my deck, add that to my hand, shuffle my deck. Um... I will go ahead and... Well, I guess I can't use the Steward yep. of Gondor. Yep. Uh, at least not quite yet. Right. Um, hmm. I suppose I'll spend one, two, three, four resources for a Northern Tracker. And I think I will call it good there. Okay. Okay, so for sending characters to the quest, I think I'm going to send quite a few. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, eight, and then with all that you're sending, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, send Barivor. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good at eight. Okay. You've got all your guys sent. You've done something with Theodred's resource. Yep. Northern Tracker is going to do a progress token on each of our locations. The Highland is immediately going to be explored and added to the victory display. So we're sitting at a total of uh, six victory points thus far. Uh, one progress on Necromancer's Pass. So we've got a location. Well, we've had locations in play, so there's no mm -hmm. treachery surging. Uh, and I suppose let's just reveal some encounter cards. So... Sure. Encounter card number one is going to be, if there is an active location, remove all progress tokens from it, return it to the staging area. Do we want to let that resolve, or do we want to cancel it? I could use Eleanor to cancel it. And that's sort of just the same as it's surging anyway. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of this location, and that's a lot of victory points, because we've got a lot sent to the quest. And if we do get more locations, Northern Tracker is going to be able to deal with those pretty quickly. Yeah, but we don't have any pro we don't have any uh, progress tokens to remove. Oh, it re gets returned to the stage. Yeah, area. right. Um, uh, okay, I see. I see. I see. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. No. I see what you're saying. Um, I could cancel it. We could just bear for it. I'm not sure it matters. Why don't we? Why don't I? Yeah. I'll just. I will Eleanor cancel it. So yeah, that's what I meant. In, impassable Chasm is going to be canceled. It is going to be replaced uh, by a Dol Guldur Orcs. So the first player can pick a character committed to the quest to take two points of damage. Do you just want to get rid of, like, Hinnomarth River Song or something? We can. I could also just put it on Radagast or something, although... If we get Necromancer's Reach or something, yeah, we can just pitch uh, 
kill poor Hinamarth there. All right. So let's get rid of Hinamarth, and I suppose maybe I'll, uh, mm, yeah, maybe I'll have Barovor hang back to uh, do some defending or something. Okay. Uh, I guess I could also do an undefended attack, which is... Yeah, that's probably unnecessarily risky. Anyways, let's go ahead and do encounter card number two. And that is Although we do need to remember Thalon's damage for that enemy. Yes, that's a very, very good point. So Dolgulder Orcs takes a point of damage, and now that means Bear of War is going to be able to kill it, provided that it uh, hangs around long enough. Uh, the Outer Ridge is going to be a location here. While it's active, each location in the staging area gets plus one threat, but for the time being, it's uh, just two threat against us. So that's going to be a total of seven that we are up against. Uh, I've only got four, five, six, seven committed to the quest. So you mean that we would make a six progress. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to clear Amon Law. That's added to the victory display. Your Ancient Matham, what did that get you? Uh, some good stuff. Fantastic. Looks like another copy of Ancient Matham, yeah. as uh, well as our Istari companion. <laughs> All right, so for travel... I don't want to go anywhere. No, uh, no need to. Engagement. For once, Matthew, I'll go ahead and flex my muscles here, and I'll take on the Dull Gulder Orcs. Th this might be a waste, but I could sneak attack uh, our wizard friend here to, to nuke it so you don't have to quite worry about a risky undefended attack. Oh, I think I'm just going to defend with Rittermark's finest. Uh, I think now that we've gotten our nasty locations out of the way, we should be... We should probably be fine. My only thought on keeping him around is this quest can sort of be an endless loop. That is In true. a sense of if you've got locations in the staging area, you can't win. Yeah. Um, if they're em and wheel. So he could be some way to to pop one of them, maybe? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. So that was my only thought of trying to keep him alive. Well, and you've got sneak attack aplenty. So yeah. why don't you do it? <laughs> okay. Um, I will use... Uh, my tactics one. And so I will sneak... Oh, I can't. What am I thinking? Tactics. Uh, click the wrong dude here. Leadership. Sure. To sneak into play our wizard friend. Enough. I am Gandalf. And Gandalf means me. Okay, so Gandalf drops in. The Dolgulder orcs are outright devastated. There it's a... Yep. Oh, what was it? Like negative two, I guess, if I could do my elementary mathematics. Uh, <laughs> our location is gone, so I will trigger Steward of Gondor on Barovor. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and use Barovor on myself in case I would have drawn another northern tracker I could have tossed out into play. Uh, no such luck, but I got some decent enough stuff. Um, I suppose... Shall we refresh? Let's do it. All right, refresh. I'm once again the first player. Let's go ahead and do our resources and draw one card. I didn't end up getting anything too crazy. I will use Barovor's Steward of Gondor on herself. I think I will spend a resource off of Barovor to do Song of Travel so that she is now eligible to have a spirit resource icon match. And let me see. I could spend... I think I want to do two of her resources for a copy of Unexpected Courage on her. I will exhaust Barovor to draw two cards. I'll use Unexpected Courage to ready her. And I think I'm, I could draw some more cards, but if I were to get another copy of Northern Tracker, we'd get rid of our, both of our locations, and then the uh, uh, first treachery card would surge. So maybe I'll stay my hand on that, and maybe I'll have you draw cards later during the round. Um, so... I think I will do one, two, for 
Erebor Hammersmith, and I'll have you return your Ancient Mathem in your discard pile to your hand. And uh, that's enough for me. Okay, well, that was quite nice of you. I will pay two for Gondorian Spearmid. Great. And then I will put an Ancient Mathem on this location for you. Aw, why thank you. You are welcome. And that is all I'm going to do. Okay. So, uh, I think earlier I actually misread our number of victory points. I was looking here at hand size. Uh, but I think just due to sheer dumb luck, I was right regardless. Uh, currently we have 11 victory points uh, up from 6 because we've got our 3 M and Wheel locations in the victory display. Uh, anyway, for committing characters to the quest, uh, we're only going to be up against two threat, uh, but I'll go ahead and send my tracker and the minstrel and Aon, and uh, that is going to be a total of eight for me. I can adjust our willpower by quite a lot if necessary, so I think I'm cool just sending eight. Okay, and I'm going to send my usual. Okay, uh, which is a grand total of six. So Northern Tracker is going to do one uh, progress token on each of these locations. Necromancer's Pass is going to be explored. The Outer Ridge is not. Uh, Ancient Mathem is going to trigger on me. So that is going to be three cards drawn. I didn't get anything particularly crazy. All right, so now that I've drawn cards, we've committed our characters, let's reveal encounter cards. So we do have a location in play, there's not gonna be any surging. Encounter card number one is gonna be our new enemy uh, for this adventure pack, the Yikes. Orc Horse Thieves three threat. Uh, it's currently attacking for two. Uh, encounter card number- Oh, it's doomed too, so don't forget to raise your threat. Right, that's pretty important. So I'm gonna be yeah. at 31 mm -hmm. and you're at 29. Yep. Uh, we also pull a copy of Treacherous Fog, which is each location in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the phase. Uh, each player with a threat of 35 or higher, which is neither of us, would have to choose and discard a card. Uh, but that is pretty much that. Yeah. So we're going to be up against a total of six threat because of the outer ridge here. Um, so that's going to be two, a total of eight progress. So that is <laughs> going to bring us to 11 out of one. Mm -hmm. And then for travel, might as well leave the outer yep. ridge to get explored. Uh, orc, horse thieves. Well, let's see. We could travel to it, and then I could try to put some damage onto our thieves. Why don't I go ahead and do that, actually? Okay. Uh, well, the outer ridge. travel to it, you mean engage him? Yeah, so sorry. The outer ridge. Oh, travel so his attack isn't so much. Yeah, so why don't why don't we not travel? Because the outer ridge might set us up badly for the next round. Okay. And I'll just deal with a two attack enemy. Uh, on the. Oh, and Thalon puts a point of damage on the Orc Horse Thieves. Yes, that is true. I guess the we're gonna surge next turn no matter what because even if, if we travel it surges if northern tracker it it surges so i suppose i could decide not to trigger the northern tracker but we're also in need of locations um yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah wh why don't we just i guess i'll leave the outer ridge where it is Okay. And so we'll not travel. The Orc Horse Thieves, I will engage with it. I'll okay. give it a shadow card. Uh, I suppose I might as well defend. I mean, I, uh, what's up? Uh, you could. I was going to say that I could defend with Gondorian Spearman and just have him eat it. Yeah, I just think I'd rather maybe keep your Spearman alive, I guess. Okay, okay. But, well, let's see. Otherwise, I could do one, two, three, four. I mean, if we did travel, which we're going to clear it next turn, and I doubt we're going to draw three locations. Famous last words. <laughs> Although we are questing fairly well, right. and I could put Gandalf into play. That way, this guy, his attack would just be one, and the Spearman actually survives. 
Yeah. I guess, uh, yeah, we could do that. Let's... I'm, I'm not too worried about the threat, but again, famous last words. But yeah. again, I've got Gandalf. I've got, you know, so... Sure. So let's go ahead and take that back. Let's go ahead and travel okay. to the location. The uh, okay. Orc Horse Thieves are only going to be attacking for one. Yeah. Uh, so when it comes to defending, uh, I suppose go ahead and do your Spearman. Yeah. So Spearman is the defender. It's automatically going to take a point of damage. Now I'll have to deal at six to be able to kill it outright. Uh, unfortunately, I can only conjure up uh, five, but Gandalf can take care of the mm -hmm. difference there. Uh, sure. The shadow card is attacking enemy gets plus one attack. Oh, well, there goes our plan. <laughs> yeah, I could cancel it, but I don't Man. know if that's, yeah, terribly Man, Spearman worthwhile. can die. Sure. Oh, well. Okay, and... Uh, I think I will go ahead and have these three come together. And uh, let's okay. see, one, two, three. So they'll just deal him a point of damage. And I'd rather just have Barrevoir draw cards um, since Gandalf is going to deal the finishing blow anyway. You're a little... Didn't you already draw cards with her? Uh, I Oh, yes, I did. Right. So thank you for catching that. That's really important. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Uh, again, another small take back there. May as well have Barrevoir add another couple of points of damage. Yep. Okay. So, it survives. End of combat. Discard yep. that shadow card. Uh, but let's go ahead and refresh. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and toss that to you. And now we can do our resources. Hmm. I happen to get our questing ally friend. Sure. But it's going to be a, a ways until I can pay for him. So, um, I am going to pay one for Snowborn Scout. Okay. And nuke that location. Well, that certainly works for me. So the Outer Ridge sure. is going to be gone. We're currently at 13 victory points, but we need 20 uh, before we can move along to the uh, Hills of Emmon. Well, before we can beat the scenario here. Um so do you want me to play Gandalf to nuke the guy, or do you think you can handle him for a turn? I should be just fine. Okay, because he could potentially get plus three attack. So. Yeah, but if if I lose an ally, no big deal. Okay, because I kind of just want to save up for Faramir, not that we really need it. Right. Um. So with that being the case, let me just do one copy of Campfire Tales. Why, thank you very much. Man. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get anything too crazy. I got Galadrums. So, okay, that's it. I'm not going to play Gandalf this round. I kind of wish I draw a creature. Radagast is getting all these uh, resources here, but yeah, eh, that's it for me. Well, uh, I will do, I think I'll have Barrevoir draw myself a couple of cards. I did not get uh, what I was hoping for. Unexpected Courage will ready her, so again, I'm not going to be able to draw cards later during this round. Not used to Unexpected being on her. But I will strip off all of my lore resources to play Haldir of Lorien, not something I say every day. Uh, so I think I'm good... With that, I've got plenty of cancellation available, but maybe I'll do... Well, I suppose my threat isn't terribly high yet, so I'll I'll hang on to not playing Galadrim's Greeting at this point. Okay. And I think, yeah, I'll just hang on to uh, my resources here. Okay. So, uh, for committing characters to the quest, we are going to have our first treachery card surging. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will do Eowyn and the Minstrel. I think I'll hold back my tracker. And I'll, uh, let's see, four, five, six. I think I'm okay with just sending my six. Okay. And even that's probably overkill between the two of us. Yeah, But let's see what we get. Encounter card number one is not going to surge. It is the North Stair. After traveling here, move the top card of the encounter discard pile to the staging area and resolve any mm. win revealed. That would be the Eastern Crows. Mm -hmm. uh, so it would be moving it to the staging area, which I don't think would trigger surge. Yeah, I don't know. I also think we can just let this thing sit here and never have to travel to it. 
Yeah, well, yeah, there's certainly that. Uh, but in counter card number two is going to be the Shores of Nin Hithowell. Uh, okay. Two threat, two quest points. The first player must discard an event to travel there. Uh, and I certainly could do that, but it also doesn't really matter much. Hopefully we'll get another tracker. Um, so no treacheries, no surging. This nope. is another five victory points in play, which means we're going to be too shy of winning mm -hmm. if we explore these. Uh, so five, we're going to make seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, that is it. Do we want to travel to either of these? I mean, we're questing so well. Um, minus, I mean, if you don't mind... Oh, I would have to ditch an event. Well... I only have two, Sneak Attack and Test of Will, both of which are good. Yeah, you've got Galadrim's Greeting as well. I do have that as well, although both of our threats are getting up there. But yeah, uh, Gandalf could do that. I mean, it, I don't know if it really matters. I'm fine just leaving it in the staging area. Okay, so sure. Let's just uh, let sleeping dogs lie. Uh, okay. For combat, I'll do a shadow card for the Orc Horse Thieves. It's going to be attacking for three. Uh, I think I'm going to defend with my hammersmith, and let's uh, let's see what happens here. So this is attacking enemy is going to be swinging for a grand total of four. Mm. The hammersmith is going to be killed. Yeah, and that's why you don't want to do undefended. That'd be bad. Yeah, I'm okay with the hammersmith dying. I could cancel the shadow sure. effect and it lives, but it's no big deal. And uh, to attack back, I will go ahead and have all my characters do two, four, five, six, total of seven. The orc horse thieves are killed. And uh, we actually have gotten in a reasonable amount of combat for the hills of Emon Wheel. Nice. So that is the round. Control R. I am first player. Let's do our resources and draw one card. I'll do my steward. Uh, I think I still have to make you the first. No, you gave first player token to me? Yes. Okay. So I am first player. I'll have Barivor draw a couple of cards from me. I ended up getting a copy of our Istari. Maybe I want to play him just to decrease my threat, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to do three resources for a copy of... Where are you, the Galadrim's Greeting? I could have sworn I had one somewhere. Maybe I guess I'm crazy. No, you do. It's next to Aomond and your Protector of Lorien. Aomond. In between. Oh, yeah. Okay, right there. I didn't see uh, Celeborn. All right, so I'm going to play that on myself. I'll drop my threat by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm back down to 27. And um, I guess I could do Protector. I'll do one lore resource for a Protector on Aowen. And uh, I'll go ahead and pass it to you. Okay, um, while I'm not sure that this is going to be entirely necessary, I'm going to uh, pay four <laughs> for Faramir. Probably I'm, overkill. Yep, I'm also going to pay three for Galadrim's Greeting. Okay. And that is it for me. All right, so we, I guess you're down to 25, I'm down to 27. And uh, let's see, for committing characters to the quest, I'm this time going to maybe send a few more than I did last time. Uh, I'll do six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I think I'll just do nine. Okay. And you've got your six. Uh, mm -hmm. Northern Tracker is going to put a token on each of these. Uh, we're not going to have a treachery card surge, so let's see what we pull. In counter card number one is going to be another copy <laughs> of the Horse Thieves, which okay. we could leave to rot, but that's going to be doomed mm -hmm. too, like you noticed. Yep. And Thalon is going to trigger a point of damage on it. Mm -hmm. In counter card number two is going to be, if there is an active location, uh, remove all progress. If no location is moved, it gains surge. It'll gain surge. Uh, we need more locations, so 
I'll just okay. let it surge. Uh, and it surges to Roros Falls. So while okay. that's the active location, all characters must commit to the current quest during the quest phase. That's victory three. So four, five, six, seven, eight. If we explore all of our locations in play, that's going to allow us to win today's scenario. Uh, but we're not quite out of the woods yet. Nope. Uh, so we're going to be up against five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten threat. Uh, which means we're going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five progress. For travel, do we want to go to any of these? Roros Falls is a little scary. Yeah. Um, again, I mean, we're going to clear out one of the locations next turn. I just don't think we're in any particular rush. Sure. Uh, and I'm thinking if we do get another northern tracker out, I can do Rittermark's Finest to put a couple tokens on the mm -hmm. Roros Falls. Uh, so yeah. we might get lucky and uh, win yeah. the quest early next round. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to leave the Horse Thieves where they're at? I think in the short term, there's really no reason not to. We're questing so well. Yeah, I think we might as well just leave them be. Uh, so I guess why don't we just go ahead and control R? So, refresh, you're the first player. I'll go ahead and draw one card, which is not what I was hoping for. I'll use uh, Steward of Gondor again. And what are you doing for planning? I'm not doing anything. All right. Bummer that you can't quite afford Northern Tracker of your own, but yeah. you wanted to drop your threat down. I'll use Barivore to draw a couple of cards which are unfortunately not northern tracker uh or the ritter marks finest come to think of it um man i've got a lot of resources but what do i want to do with them gandalf wouldn't be enough to destroy the orc horse thieves but i could do one two three four five why don't i go ahead and put out gandalf <laughs> I am Gandalf, and Gandalf means me. And I will draw three cards with his ability. So one, two, and come on, three. Good. I got my northern tracker. Nice. And uh, how about we finish this scenario? So I'm going to do okay. one, two, three, four resources to put out a second copy of northern tracker um that is all i'm gonna do okay so for questing i'm gonna use rittermark's finest exhaust and discard to do two progress on the roros falls okay so it's discarded uh you've committed your characters to the quest mm -hmm. and i'm going to send characters myself uh, so I'll do four, five, six, seven, eight, a total of 12. Northern Tracker times two are going to trigger their response to do one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, do you want to say that you, I'm sorry, uh, that we do the horse at the end of questing, that way we don't have to surge? Well, we are going to win the scenario in about two seconds. Oh, we're going to win it right this second. <laughs> right. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, Roros yep. Falls, four out of four, added to the victory display. That's plus three points. Nin Hithwell is going to be three out of two, plus two victory points. North Stair is going to be three out of three, plus three victory points. We're currently sitting at 21 victory ah. points. Our current quest card says... We can't defeat this stage unless there are no M and Wheel locations in play. We meet that criteria, and we've collected at least 20 victory points. We have 23 out of the requisite one quest points. <laughs> so the Orc Horse Thieves survive, uh, but in the end, it looks like they maybe didn't get a hold of my Rittermark's Finest. So, Matthew, we've managed to surmount the hills of M and Wheel. Uh, what do you think about this quest? You know, I've had worse playthroughs of it where you just, you know, you get the the amount of victory points you need, but you keep revealing M and wheel locations turn after turn after turn. And this just becomes like a 40 round horrible experience. I will say this was one of the more pleasant experiences I've had of the, in this quest. We got, you know, some treacheries that actually did stuff. We had to fight a few enemies. That was kind of fun. Um, you know, the locations were cleared fairly quickly. 
again, I, I think for most players, this one's consistently voted one of the worst quests. And the very few people I've ever se- uh, have seen that said it's their favorite have said it because they like the art. Sure. Uh, and they, they tend to not rate this one highly for the actual gameplay. I guess if you're just looking for an easy stroll through Middle Earth, this is the quest to play, but just not much happens. And it's got the chance, like I said, to turn into this just long slog where you just always have a location that you just can't get rid of. Uh, we had some pretty decent location control decks. Uh, you were doing a lot more on your side than I was. Um, but, you know, again, for a quest that I really don't care for, I actually had a decent time. Yeah, uh, just like you described, the worst this scenario can ever be is when you pull no enemies at all and you just uh, can quest hard enough to clear one active location around, but you reveal one or more M and Wheel locations every turn, so you're never able to actually beat the scenario. Uh, we were able to use enough card effects to add additional progress tokens so that that didn't happen. Uh, but really, unless you let your threat get totally out of control or you get totally location locked in a three or four player game, there's not a whole lot of way that you can lose this scenario. Uh, Rock Slide, which deals two damage to each character committed to the quest, we each ran a test of will, so that was never an issue. We had Eleanor, so that was never an issue. Um, We didn't have to travel to any of these locations, so we were able to work around a lot of nasty effects. Uh, So the Hills of Emin Wheel... You know, we actually had a lot of combat, like you said, but normally that's not the case. It's kind of a one-trick pony, and uh, as much as it saddens me to say it, this was kind of the first time that a scenario came out that wasn't exactly the home run that I was hoping it would be. Uh, Yeah. So... I, I get what they were trying to do. Uh, this was the first quest that really dealt with travel and locations. The problem is travel, uh, the travel phase and locations in general are the most boring part of the game. It's kind sure. of just a mathematical decision. What's got the highest threat and the lowest quest points, and let's go there. What I will say is one of the biggest improvements to the game has been in the travel phase and making locations a bit more interesting. For a while, they just slap immune to player card effects on all locations, and that doesn't help much. But a few cycles down the row, uh, down the road, they get a bit more interesting. But with that said, a quest designed around the least exciting, you know, phase of the game, I get why they did it. Uh, I think they've learned from this quest, but yeah, for the most part, it's it's not too exciting. Yeah, totally. So the more interaction with the encounter deck, the better, but we've made it through. We've beaten the Hills of Emin Wheel. Uh, up next, we're going to be taking a look, an evaluative look, at uh, the player cards of the Dead Marshes, and then we'll see if another willpower-focused uh, scenario fares a little bit better uh, than the Hills of Emin Wheel. But, Matthew, it's that time again. Why don't you go ahead and plug your podcast, and let's get out of here. I would be most grateful if you check out my podcast, where you can hear my thoughts as well as those of my co-hosts, as we take an in-depth look at the Lord of the Rings LCG, focusing on strategy deck building and the metagame. Well, certainly sounds good to me. If you ever want to get in touch with myself, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook as the Hive Tyrant. If you have any desire whatsoever to support the ongoing progression series, I'm on Patreon as well. But as always, thank you for checking out another episode of the progression series, and uh, be sure to check back in again soon for much more Lord of the Rings, the card game content to come, and have a good one.